Hey guys, welcome to Chase Head for the Right Price. I'm going thrifting today with Alex and Crawdad. And I've got a bunch of trade-in. I wanted to show you guys what I'm going to trade in. And hopefully we'll get a decent amount. And we'll go from there, so let's do it. Alright, so here's the trade in. I've got the van started since it's freezing cold. But I've got three boxes, one banana box. You can kind of get an idea. There's like Wii games, there's you know like nunchucks that aren't quite good enough for me to include with my systems. Sometimes they'll take those. And then this one is pretty much full. Got some old 360 games, Xbox various things in there and then this one is a really large tub we've even got some cartridge games in there a lot of these were some of them were returns on Amazon the stuff I don't really want to deal with anymore so but most of it is like extras from bundles that I pick up so three tubs worth we'll see how much we can get in trading all right so I got Alex and Crawdad in the house. Right. <laughs> and we're going to five below. Hopefully, pick up some smash above amiibos. Five dollars. Everything above five dollars. Yeah, he, it says so. He gets it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, Alex. What are, what games right, are we so picking up? We picked up today. We picked up Mass Effect Three. Okay. And then we picked up Mass Effect Three. Nice. And then we found this in a different spot, Mass Effect 3. Oh, dude, I love that game. <laughs> and then um, the new edition, Mass Effect 3. Oh, yeah, that's the one that came out after, right? And then after that, we actually <laughs> found this random one, too, oh, Mass dude, Effect nice. 3. <laughs> and then we found two Mass Effect 3s. Oh, dude, I don't know. I hate that game. <laughs> and then we found Mass Effect 3. Oh. So overall, we found a lot of good games. Was the Wii U a failed system? No, no. Why not? Because Smash 4. Yeah, I was just gonna case smash. Fire. Anything else? Um, Mario Kart. Yeah, I, I do need Mario but Kart. Eight all these are being continued on the Switch, so right. Yeah, so the Wii U yeah, is officially but, but fair, oh, yeah. unnecessary now. We, yep. Wii U was was OG, okay. That's why when people say they're playing it on the Switch, I'm like, well, I played it before the Switch. I, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> the, the day it came out for Switch, I unplugged my Wii U and put it away because <laughs> that was all I used it for. <laughs> Walmart, right Wally now. World. Actually. Walmart. No one calls it Walmart. And they actually have a a pretty enticing clearance section. So, Hallelujah. Alex, you have the voice of an angel. So let's see what we pick up. Games, games. We picked up one of these Maddens for five dollars. That's an incredible deal. Games, games, games. All the games. All right, how many games do you guys think we're gonna end up with? It's like, it's honestly. 154. 154. Price is right, style. 127. I'll say one dollar, Bob. <laughs> one game. <laughs> you piece of garbage. <laughs> Have you ever watched Price is Right? It's a strategy. It is. Well, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's an a strategy. Awful. In this one, I think it's gonna be a bad strategy. Well, here's our Walmart cart. We don't know how many games yet, but a whole lot. Guess who got the games for him? Me. These guys bought them for me. Thank you guys. Merry You're Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. We are done at Walmart. How many Walmart. games did we end up getting there? <clears throat> 133. 133 games. I mean, I'll go over it in detail a little more later, but... Yeah, that pickup would be My way too long. My price is right with guess was correct at 127. Would have been. 154 is a little too high. Yeah, and I guess $1 Bob, so I lost. <laughs> but, you know what I've won? Absolutely nothing. Satisfaction of being right. I mean, I, I guess. That is I something. Guess. <laughs> but we spent about $1,400 or $1,500. I had to like call the bank to get my limit raised. Yeah, I thought he was going to have to work a shift at Walmart because he was coming <laughs> up a little bit short. I didn't expect to find an epically good clearance section. Basically, the manager um, 
they had put a, they said they had games in the back for two years, <laughs> and they yeah. wanted to. They were, they got tired of them because they had them in a the bin in clearance, and the bin was it didn't look good. So they finally went to the back and brought them all out, clearance to them. Most of them were nine dollars. Yeah, ton of PS4 games. 14. The best score was Madden 17 on PS3 <clears throat> for five bucks, which that's like a forty to fifty dollar game, brand new. And yeah, just a whole bunch of stuff, which we'll show later. But now we're at Disc Traders, and we're guessing how much we're gonna get for that trade. And I showed you guys this morning. I'm gonna say two twenty. That was actually gonna be my guess. Stop it. <laughs> yeah, I guess I was now. gonna say like two twenty four. I'm gonna say. You're starting with us, so you get I'm the gonna, advantage. That's I'm smart. I'm going to say 189. <laughs> I'm going to say 197, 82. One Because I'm going to get it exactly right. Wow, 197, 82. You hit it here. So you got like a $22.18 window you're working with. This yeah. is always prices right side. you got to right, guess yeah. below what yeah. it actually Or you is. lose. So I've if it's 220 like a... or more, I win. Hopefully it is. It's three pins. All right. All Let's right. do it. Get some game. <laughs> What you looking at, Alex? Custom Robo Arena. For display only. Oh, we can't buy it. Well, maybe next time. What about you, Cross? I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I wish I had your, your leg in that. <laughs> Alright, so just got done with this Traders. Got a couple nice pickups there. A couple stuff for free. Always a good thing. And Chase still has lots of store credit, so... Uh, $402 worth. Yep. Yeah. Uh, picked up Super Mario Bros. 3, always a good one to find. Good price there. I uh, picked up Zelda Link to the Past for $14.99, that's a really good price on that. Picked up Pop Cap Arcade 2. Complete. Pick up uh, the Connect games are always always still really good. Got the Avengers Battle for Earth. Uh, Spyro's Hero Tale, uh, Hero's Chair was one of the free ones for the GameCube. It's complete, looking fresh. And Uncharted Golden Abyss for the Vita. And we got the stuff. All right, always good pickup. South Park got Chef's Love Shack for the PS1. Devil Survivor, for Clocked, for the DS. A couple carrying cases. Chase is actually in there grabbing some of them that we apparently forgot right now. <laughs> uh, Puppy Power Dalmatians for five ninety. One hundred and two Dalmatians. <laughs> Starring Frankie Muniz as the voice of Domino. Of course, it's classic. Really? <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> and. Some Scooby Doo Looney Tunes Cartoon Universe Adventure for eleven ninety nine, and there's the man himself. There's right the man himself with the two dollar ninety nine, and this one was free. Nice, and we got one thing that Chase gets every single time he goes to Dish Traders. Quick, guess it before I show you. Doctor Pepper and <laughs> Zapper. Um, did you tell them how much we got for credit? Four hundred and two bucks. No, no. Well, the amount we got today. Oh. Oh, well, I'm two <laughs> dad one. I'm two for two on the calls again because we ended up getting what one eighty six. One eighty six. One ninety. One ninety and crowd dad. I called one eighty four. One eighty something. One eighty six. Yeah. yeah. So. Crowd dad's on a roll. He is on a roll. But yeah, my <laughs> I still had credit from the previous trip, so my current standing credit is four hundred and two dollars. I gotta figure out how to spend like more than ninety-five dollars when I go there, so I can use it. They just aren't getting the right stuff right now, but yeah. eventually. Yeah. So this one gives great credit, so I like to shout out to the, the trades. Yeah, pull yourself together, disc traders, because we need you. Yeah, we need you. Bartle Toads. All right, guys. So here's everything I got from the incredible Walmart trip. This is probably the greatest retail game score that I have ever had. Something like 133 games. It was just incredible. This one, the best score. It was actually $5. A lot of them had little stickers like that that they seriously clearanced even further. So $5 for Madden 17, that's like a $40 to $50 game. Amazing deal. $5 for NHL Legacy Edition. 
These FIFA 17s were five dollars. Uh, Fallout New Vegas for Xbox One was six dollars. There's three of those. And then there were just tons and tons of different games across all systems. The Dishonored 2's got like 25 or so of those. They were nine dollars. Everybody's Golf, I'm gonna keep that one. I'm kind of getting a collection of games that I would want to play um, if I get a good PS4 deal. So that one is staying in the collection. Um, Prey was nine dollars. Burnout Paradise was eight dollars. Um, Knack, how much was Knack? Knack was nine dollars. South Park, those were nine dollars. Most of them were nine dollars or nine dollars and ninety cents. And some were um, twenty dollars. Some of the uh, nicer ones. The Resident Evil Seven, I think that was. Let's see, that was twenty nineteen ninety one. It's the gold edition. Conan was fifteen. And then uh, the Naruto Shinobi Striker was twenty. So you guys can see just an insane amount of games spent uh, about fifteen hundred dollars. And then I'm also going to be keeping Scribble Knots Mega Pack for the Switch, and this one I will most likely keep uh, Marvel Superheroes Two. And they also had some discount electronics. This was the only winner that I found out of there. It was originally 150, marked down to 35. And that was still going for about 60 to 70. So I picked that up as well. But all in all, this Walmart trip was insane. And it was a whole lot of fun going through all these games. So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. We had a lot of fun. And it's always great bringing guys along with us. Stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. I'm going to go through these games um, using Inventory Lab, sending them to Amazon FBA. So, if you haven't done FBA or if you want to learn, definitely stay tuned for that video because I'm going to go through all of these new games, uh, enter in the buy cost, and then we will see how much the estimated profit is going to be. And I'll kind of show you guys um, the process. So stay tuned for that. Hit that subscribe button and hit the bell if you haven't. And I will see you guys next time. Have a great week. Chase after the right, right.